Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from Greco Financial Training. In this video, we want to teach you how to use our online question bank. Now, basically, a little, a little about this. The online question tool is a tool to help you do questions, practice questions, uh, simulated exams, um, in order to prepare for your licensing exam. Now, what's going to happen is that once you sign up within 24 to 48 hours, you will get an email with your login information about with for your question bank. Now your username is going to be some sort of weird combination of numbers and letters, which I have no control over. I would much prefer it to be your email, but that's your username, so um so you know. So the best way to do it, because one of the things that a lot of people sometimes see with the is that they'll have an L in their name or an I in their name, and the L and the I will sometimes be easily confused. So the best way to kind of avoid those confusions is just the copy and paste. So you just highlight it, highlight your username. You can right click it, copy. Unless if you know keyboard shortcuts, that's even easier. And then you're just going to go to grecouniversity.com to log in. Okay, grecouniversity.com to log in, and that'll take you to where you need to log in. Okay, so once you're here, you'll click on log in. Paste your username in here. Okay, in this case, I think I copied an extra space. Yep. Okay, and then put in your password, which will be in the email, and you log in. Okay, now once you're in here, you're going to click on Access Your Courses. Okay, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Now here you'll get to the dashboard where you'll be able to see lots of different tools, um, any kind of corrections to the materials that they want to have listed. Uh, the QBank, this is the actual question bank that you need. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on that, and that'll take you to this screen. Okay, and here you'll be able to actually see all the exams you've taken up to this point, so that we can go back and see what you've done and break down the results, etc. And you'll have three options. Here you'll have custom quiz. Now when you click on custom quiz you'll be able to create a quiz. You can name it whatever, so you can say, hey, this is test quiz one. And then right down here, you can see what you want to cover. So basically, let me just break it all down. Here's all questions that you're signed up for. So if I just click that, that means it'll generate my quiz from every question available. But if I want to choose specific things, I can choose a specific exam that I'm taking, in this case, a series 63. Then choose a specific chapter. So each of these represents one chapter from the book, which I can then break down further into the different sections of that chapter. So if I literally only wanted to do questions about the registration of a broker dealer agent, I can just click that and it'll pull from the 79 questions in that section. Now, here I can have some other options, such as do I want them to pull from all the questions, that all 79, or just the unused? questions from that 79 or just the ones that I've gotten wrong in the past, um, I can make these options. I can also choose how many questions. So if I want to do all 79, I can just change that to 79 questions. Now, if you do show score as you go, your score will be showing and you'll see as your percentages go up and down as you answer questions. If you do show answer explanations, you'll be able to um, see every time you get a question, it'll tell you if you're right or wrong right away and give you the answer explanation. So that's how all that works. And then here you can either launch the quiz if you want to do the question online. So if you're doing the quiz online, that's what you do there. Or you can print the quiz. Now if I go to the print quiz, it takes me to a screen in which where I can actually print it out. So first what you would do is you would, you can go here and you can kind of choose what you want to print out. So if you just want to print out the questions, you would take out the answer explanations and then you can print out the quiz with just the questions. And then if afterwards you want the answers, Okay, then you can just choose everything and say, okay, let me print out the answers. And then you'll print that out again so that we have an answer sheet. Okay, so that's, so you have some flexibility on what you can do with this. Okay, so let me go back to the dashboard, back to the QBank. Let me delete that quiz we created. So I can go here and here I can, I can edit the name of the quiz. I can go back to do the quiz. I can copy it. I can print it. And I can delete it. Okay, another option I have is once I've done all the practice questions and I'm feeling very comfortable with my practice, I can do a simulated exam. 
what this will do is create an exam um, that basically simulates what I'm doing. So if I click that, it creates a simulated exam. Here you will not be able to see the answers after each question. So this is really only for when you're doing that final ramp off to take the exam. So let's go back to the QBank, delete that simulated exam that we just started. Okay, but and then you can click access offline, in which it will download the QBank so that we don't have to be online to use it. And you can access this question bank from your mobile device through the browser just by going to grecouniversity.com and you can access it on any internet able device that you have. So uh, enjoy. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you guys around.